Samsung A U8000 for 2021, Crystal UHD TV, it's the 43 inch model. I've got dimensions of the feet and uh, visa mounts, etc. I'll timestamp that in the description. Top of the box, we can see we've got the two feet there poking up, quick setup guide, instruction book and remote pack underneath as well. Two of the pedestal feet, quick setup guide, remote control instruction book pack. Out. As a quick look at the TV from the front, you can see it's got a screen protector on there as well. Onto the remote control and instruction book pack. No travel A batteries. Two sets off, smart remote, standard remote, a cable guides or tidies for the feet, a CI card slot reader, and also figure eight mains lead. All that's left there is the sort of disposal, a brief page on the instructions. So most of the instructions are built in via the e-manual accessed on the home button through the TV. This is the standard remote if it's not supplied in your country. Hopefully that model code shows up. You can just type that in on Amazon or whatever and order one. But power on and off, source or input button, channel numbers, pre-channel takes you back to the last channel, channel you were watching, volume up and down, channels up and down, mute button, channel list, Netflix, Prime, Samsung TV Plus, so they're quick fire buttons to take you straight there. Left, right, up, down, cursor arrows and enter. Return takes you back step by step, exit all the way out of the menu. Colored buttons for what they may apply to depending on the app you're in. Settings button there, that takes you straight to the settings like a shortcut. Info, you can see the info bar. Audio description and subtitles, that tiny button there. Play, stop, pause, fast forward and rewind, depending if you're on app or media playback. Flip it over, treble A batteries in the back. Smart remote, uh, not the solar powered smart remote, but we'll have a look anyway. Power on and off voice command button for whichever voice service you prefer or choose. Channel numbers or colored inputs there. Left, right, up, down and enter. Back button. Play and pause, press play and pause. You've got rewind, fast forward and all that with those cursors there. Home button, volume rocks up and down and in for mute. Channels rock up and down and push it in for guide. Quick access, Netflix, Prime and Samsung TV Plus. Flip this one over and give it a squeeze in there. Treble A batteries into the back of there. Quick setup guide at the top. We've got the list of the inputs into the TV there. Also list of the included accessories. Two of you to put it on a large flat surface indicating that it's bigger than the screen. Two different positions for the feet. So we can see that flip. There's a little sort of flip chip in there that we, we can flip over. We'll look at that closely as well. Flip it over, up or down, gives us two different height configurations so we can fit, say, a soundbar underneath and things like that. Or elevate it above a soundbar, the screen of it. And that's that chip part there being flipped up and down. Onto the back, inputting our connections and using the cable tidy to guide the cables down those feet. Don't peel off the screen protector so you've turned it on. But anyway, and then we've got there a key of dimensions, so A, B, C, D, etc., and what they refer to there. 43 Q60, 50 Q60, 43 AU8, 50 AU8, 43 AU9000, and so on. Also, attaching your wall brackets there to the back or wall mount arms to the back of it, and it suggests 11 to 13 mil M8 volts. All we've got left CI card slot reader if people still use those. These are the cable guide or clips for the feet. We'll have a look how they work. So 
they're the two feet that stick up into the TV or probably slot to the back in this case. Not marked left or right, so they should be symmetrical. See, we've got this chip or this little bit we can flick over two different positions. So in that position, the TV will sit lower, flick it up, TV sits higher so we can get a sound bar or whatever underneath. You can see there we've got the cable guide or cable tidies so you just clip those to the back of the feet like so. It can guide the cable down the leg of the back. So we've got that switch as well for the two different height positions of the feet so I'll put one in on the higher setting just goes into there and slides in so we start off with it flat slides up and that's it. This one if I put it down we can put it into there, push it up. Obviously we'd put them both at the same height, but just out of interest, we can see with this foot here in that position, it's about maybe 72 mil from whatever it stood onto the bottom of the TV. And then moving onto that foot there, it's about 40 mil from the foot to the bottom of the TV. So. Doing that flick on the switch gives you a good 30 mil extra in height. So if you've got a soundbar or something, you may just get that clearance before you screen. Pretty cool. So I'm going to put it on the low setting for now. And it'll probably look better unless we do have a soundbar there. That's it. So they're both in the same. Quick close up of the connections on the side. So you've got the aerial input there, then HDMI 1, HDMI 2 is EARC, Enhanced Audio Return Channel, wired internet in there or LAN, USB rated at 5 volt 1 amp for hard drive etc and a half amp USB there as well. HDMI 3 is on the back and also we've got digital optical audio out. Peel this sticker off here that's just in shot and put your CI card slot reader there. Further along the back there, we can just see where our figure eight mains input is as well. With those feet as well, we can just, for an example, plug my figure eight mains in, cable down there, and just pop the cable guide over. If it goes, there we go. Dimensions time. So at the widest point across those feet, I make it about 67 centimeters or 26 and a half inches width across the top 43 inch model 96 and a half centimeters or 38 inches two different height configurations so the way i've got it now i've got it on the lower setting and i think i said it can be 40 mil the way it is from whatever it stood on to the bottom put it on the higher setting it's about 72 mil from the whatever it stood on to the bottom of the TV. Thickness wise, it is 25.7 mil thick. Just turn it around. It's got a 200 mil square visa there. From the bottom of the TV to the middle of the first visa hole is 165 millimeters. Okay, we've got wide internet aerial and mains. Gonna take off the screen peely peely and then uh, turn the lights off, turn the TV on. Experience the extraordinary. Okay, it is powering. So, two simple options to get started do it from your smartphone, it copies your Wi Fi details, Samsung account details, etc., or remote control step by step, which is what I'm going for. UK, only thing I've got connected is the aerial. Obviously, if you've got other devices, PVRs, consoles, turn them all on now, it will identify them. Terrestrial and digital, so I'm just using Freeview on my aerial. Wired internet connection, next. Gonna agree to all and OK. So there probably is an update, in which case I'll let it do the update, come back when it's done it. Could take a few minutes, so we'll just pause. All right, up to date, cool. So 
So if you've got your account sign in, I'm in store, so I'm going to skip for now, but it does give you more access to the app store and so on. Pop your postcode in for any sort of regional variants. Right, so it has been tuning in the background while we've been setting up. I'll pause, come back, because it might be another five minutes. Finish its tuning, region select, so primary region is England, secondary is where my aerial is facing, which is Yorkshire, and Leeds. Quick summary there of devices I've got, my Freeview channels and a wide internet connection. So you can always select your voice command service now if you want to out of Bixby, Alexa and Google Assistant. I'm going to say later. Uh, sometimes for customers I just set them up Bixby on a generic email account. We'll say later. Faster way to link your app. So all it's saying is it'll give you a code. On your phone, go to the web address, pop the code in, it'll link, say, Amazon Prime to your Prime account that way, so it is nice, quick and easy. Let's start watching TV. Okay, quickly on to Freeview, just going to go to home and settings and just change a couple of things for the demo. Okay, so down to power and energy settings or energy saving. I'm going to take the brightness optimization off. Normally I possibly I would possibly leave that on at home just so it alters its brightness depending on the ambient light in the room and it's all automatic. For the demo it might not help so we just take that off. Motion lighting take off, it's trying to save a bit of power by turning the brightness down in certain areas. Auto TV power off, that's an inactivity standby where if you don't press a button the TV turns off so turn that off as well because it's annoying. Let me just come out of there. So I'm going to shut my mouth and turn the sound up so we can hear the sound on Freeview. A day out of Kabul. But how do those people get to the airport? We'll speak to a former US interpreter who's in hiding in fear for his life. Hello. Is this Taliban 2.0, the kinder, more inclusive alternative to the group that for years had terrorised Afghanistan? To listen to the group's first press conference today in Kabul, that is certainly the impression you were given. The man who appeared before the press, Zabihullah Mujahideen, told reporters there would be an amnesty for everyone who'd served the coalition. There were promises to honour women's rights to allow them to work, albeit within the group's interpretation of Islamic law. And private media, he said, would be permitted to remain independent. The group say they want the international community to accept the change of government and invest in the country. We will speak very shortly to the man who, until this weekend, was in charge of Afghanistan's central bank. But first, here's our chief international correspondent, Lise Doucette. The Republic has fallen, its leaders fled, Taliban rule is returning. So, uh, going to go on see if we've got an inbuilt retail demo.
empty core. Uh, a moment of turmoil uh, in that back to home mode. I think actually what's really impressive is that in a very, very short period, we've moved forward now into something that looks stable and that we can continue to move on. The Taliban are promising stability too, and a government that's different this time round. Their words have changed, when you wait to see what they really mean. Well, but these I'm going to go onto YouTube before. and try a demo on there. Thank Game you very trailer. much for having me. Or something. <laughs> so I'm just going to say credit to Ubisoft because it's their game trailer I'm going to try for their new next gen game that's coming out next year. Say go. So I'll say credit to Ubisoft again for the content. I will put a link to that uh, trailer in the description as well so you can try it out on your own TV and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're back to normal TV. Quick whip through the home menu before I wrap it up. So all the way to the left, we can see we've got the settings cog there and above there you've got shortcuts to the e-manual. Picture mode, sound modes, sound output, subtitles and audio language and so on. Uh, a list of our sources or inputs. Search button or search option. Apps there, so we can go to the app store for more apps, sign into your Samsung account. Also we've got ambient mode, so you can have screen savers on when you're not watching TV. Weather, time, background or make your own collages, whatever. Home. Samsung TV Plus for their on-demand services, live TV, which we've got in the background, Netflix, Prime, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Disney Plus, Now TV, Rakuten, Discovery Plus, YouTube, All4, Samsung Health, Apple TV, also Apple Airplay is built in this, so mirror your iPhones or iPads and Apple Macs. You can also mirror your Android devices. 
basic internet browser, connect your Bluetooth keyboard for basic internet browsing, Alexa, Google, My5. Okay, so pretty good TV all round, sounds a bit tinny, but just had a soundbar or sound system, so I shall say that's all for now. Good